Today, I'm flying to London on board British Airways Club Suite where we'll enjoy pork loin, pancakes, an onboard mini bar, and a closing door. Our journey begins in Phoenix. Let's go get checked in. What's going on, guys? So, welcome to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Today, we're flying British Airways nonstop to London Heathrow in Club World, but not just Club World though, Club World Suite on the Airbus A350-1000. So, let's go get checked in. A few moments later. All right, all checked in. About to go through security. Then let's go to the lounge. Two lounges here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. One is the Escape Lounge and the other is the American Express Centurion Lounge. Despite there being two lounges right across from each other, you can only access one of them. So if you have access to the Centurion Lounge via the American Express Platinum card, you can't access the Escape Lounge and vice versa. So the Escape Lounge is actually a contracted lounge with British Airways since there's no flagship American Airlines lounge here at Phoenix Sky Harbor, despite it being a hub, which is pretty interesting to say the least. But this lounge is actually a pretty nice place to spend time prior to your flight. It's definitely better than being at the gate, which is pure chaos, which, which you guys will see in a minute. But you have your typical lounge food, so your meats, hors d'oeuvres, salads, and desserts, and you also have a bar to sit at and grab a couple of drinks prior to your flight. All right, so that was a nice lounge visit. Let's go back to the gate. BA-288 always leads from gate B-25 at Phoenix Sky Harbor. As you can see, it is very chaotic. Not very suitable for an international flight, but let's hop on board. Hey there, I mean, uh, good, how are you? Good, Sorry about that. 10 a. Excellent, thank you. So, got the over the shoulder seat belt instead of the across the lap seat belt. All right, welcome on board British Airways Club World Suite. This is my home for the next 10 hours. I got two windows, my seat controls, loads of leg room, and I get a sliding door, but it, they lock it during takeoff and landing. Let's do it. Next stop, London Heathrow. Let's hurdle down the runway and let's enjoy this nine hour and 15 minute flight across the Atlantic to London Heathrow. Let's go. Shortly after takeoff, we were given a hot towel. Normally you get this pre-departure, but hey, it works. Now that we're airborne, let's look at the menu. Let's start with the cocktail. I chose the Cranberry Blush, which is a refreshing and colorful mix of vodka, orange, cranberry, and a dash of spritz over ice. It looked really good and it tasted even better. It went down so smooth. Next for starter, I had the leek potato soup with a glass of wine and a glass of water. Y'all, when I tell you this soup was seasoned to perfection, my goodness. And then when you take a slice of bread and just dip it in the soup, Man, when I tell you my taste buds were in heaven, my goodness, y'all. For the main course, I chose the lamb loin. It looks absolutely delicious, but how does it taste? 
man when i tell you it was absolutely phenomenal evident by my empty blade here to cap it all off with dessert i chose the raspberry panna cotta and when i tell you that this dessert was absolutely top tier no exaggeration all right so let's have a look at this storage area so we got your remote that controls this and a fly flytainment screen we got a usb and a power outlet in there we got one on this side as well let's close this and then this one just got storage so you don't put your wallet passport whatever and then over here we got a mirror got a bottle of water. Ooh, we got an amenity kit. Let's see what we got. From the white company. Let's see what we got here. All right, in this amenity kit, we have eye mask. Oh, actually, we got eye mask and socks. Excellent. And then we got some some spa stuff so we got a whole bunch of lotions and potions in here lip balm which is great because your lips get really dry on airplanes some more lotions and potions earplugs and toothbrush and toothpaste on something from the white company and I dropped the pin I need this for the immigration form so if you don't bring your own pin they'll give you one and then this is the pouch the amenity kit came in pretty cool the business class cabin on this aircraft is arranged in a one to one configuration giving everyone direct aisle access there are a total of 56 business class seats on this plane 42 being in this forward cabin and the other remaining seats in a mini cabin behind this one note that british airways actually charges up to 50 pounds for seat selection even in business class but I was able to circumvent this with my Warden World Emerald status. There is also a mini bar in between the forward business cabin and the mini business cabin. It's fully stocked with drinks and snacks, so if you get hungry in between meals, feel free to help yourself. All that food made me sleepy. Let's kick off the Adidas, let's close the door, and let's get some rest. See y'all in a few hours. Six hours later. After a solid six hours of sleep, I wake up cruising over Greenland. Let's look at the menu, see what we want for breakfast. I chose the buttermilk pancakes with pastries, yogurt, and tea, and an orange juice. These pancakes were absolutely divine. About two hours before landing, I decided to explore the in-flight entertainment system. The system itself, it is very user-friendly. It is touchscreen, but it also can be controlled via the remote in the storage console. But my idea of entertainment is the in-flight map. This aircraft was also Wi-Fi enabled, and you could purchase a flight pass for $24.99 US, which isn't terrible for a long-haul flight. And the Wi-Fi itself, it worked flawlessly for the most part. As we come in for landing on runway 27 left at London Heathrow, I just wanted to acknowledge how fantastic the crew was aboard this flight. The crew on board were just a delight to talk to. They seemed to really enjoy their jobs. They always asked if I needed anything. And they were just a pleasure to talk to. This is probably the friendliest flight crew I've ever had on any flight I've been on. Hey, very warm welcome to London Heathrow, Terminal 5, the home of British Airways and the local time here. It's 25 minutes past.
last one in the afternoon. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. All right. We made it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Heathrow. It's good to be back here after five years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that flight was fantastic. I'll definitely give it a 10 out of 10. The crew were phenomenal. The food was fantastic. The seat was very comfortable. Got a solid six hours of sleep. So, about to go through passport control and uh, head to central London. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That, uh, that vlog. And uh, yeah, so, good to be back in London. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one.